Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make a delicious salad. You could make this as an entree salad or a side salad. This is green salad with pomegranate and apple. Now, pomegranates are in season. I have some lovely ones from Harvest Barn Country Markets. Make sure you check out my review on these guys. Beautiful stuff. Um, some lovely apple. I have some lovely green uh, lettuce and I have some nasturtium leaves that I've harvested today because it's about to snow here. So I needed to harvest everything today. So these can be eaten either raw or they can be eaten um, cooked. But I'm using them raw tonight and you don't have to use them. If you have them, that's cool. But if not, just use lettuce, okay? So I've washed my lettuce down in my leaves and I just have a large bowl with paper towels and I like to dry off my lettuce as much as possible. That way the vinaigrette sticks to it or whatever dressing that you're using. Otherwise it just slides off the leaves because they're wet, okay? We don't want that. So pick through the leaves. If they see anything that doesn't look nice, pick them off. And I'm just going to go through and rip the leaves into bite-sized pieces. Now I like to rip them instead of cut them because they, they separate where they want to separate, in between cells, and instead of cutting them, when you cut them, they tend to wilt a lot faster. You're cutting right into different cells, and it just oozes out the liquid. So this is a, a nicer way to do it, I think. And you know, it's easier to me, <laughs> and you can control things better with your hands, I think. So just rip them into bite-sized pieces. You don't want them slapping them in the face when you're trying to eat salad. So here's what nasturtium leaves look like. They are nice and round, and uh, they are actually have kind of a peppery, peppery flavor. Beautiful stuff. So I'm just ripping them up alongside the, um, oh, those are good. Oh, they're nice and peppery. Uh, ripping those up, and they are going to be intermixed with this uh, salad. They're a nice little bit darker green, so it's a nice contrast as well. The whole nasturtium plant is edible, from the root to the tips, to the flowers, to the, to the nose, to the stems, everything. So grabbing your nasturtium, planting them every year on your own with seeds, uh, you get a nice crop. I harvested a bunch today. So I'm going to use some fresh parsley that I got from my garden as well. And I'm just going to mince that up. Before I throw that on my salad, I have some other things to do. Now I'm going to dry off my salad as best I can with my paper towels. Use more if you need more. This is a, a lettuce that holds a particularly lot of amount of water after I've rinsed it, so it needs quite a bit of paper towel waiting to dry them off. So just keep using them. Do your best with drying, and then by the time you're ready to throw everything else on, including the dressing, it should be quite dry by then. Dry enough. So I want to just toss it up, make sure that all the nasturtium and everything is mixed through, okay? I like to freshly crack some pepper and put that on my salad now. Some chili flakes. I'm going to throw on my parsley, sprinkle it all around. If you'd like to use chives or another kind of herb from your garden, feel free, whatever you have and whatever you like. Now I have two lovely little red delicious apples that I'm going to peel, I'm going to core, and I'm going to chop into nice little chunks. You can leave the skins on if you like, it would be really pretty in here. But not everyone here will eat the skins, so I'm going to take it off tonight. Cutting them into eighths always makes things uh, easy to deal with when coring and cutting out the stem ends. Now just take your paring knife, cut that out and chop chunks, my maybe an inch. I'm going to toss those uh, chunks of apple with some lime juice, you can use lemon if you want, just some kind of acid, okay? You could use a vinegar from your vinaigrette, or you could use, um, you know, a citrus fruit would be a nice option. It keeps them from browning because we want this to look pretty in our salad. So grab your juice and toss that up. That will coat them and keep them from oxidizing. I'm going to add a little bit of cheddar tonight. You can use whatever kind of cheese you like, but I'm just going to add a little bit of extra protein and a nice little bit of color. Cheddar particularly goes well with apples, and that's how we're going to roll with this. So I'm just going to cut cubes as best I can. This is a nice sharp cheddar. Okay, so I'm going to scatter the apples on top. The nice, fresh, crisp lettuce with that peppery nasturtium and the sweet pop of those tangy pomegranates and some nice cheese. Can't go wrong. 
Just kind of work them into the salad a little bit. So let's scatter the cheddar on top. And we're gonna save the prettiest thing for last, the pomegranate. So I'm just going to cut into the top here, around that top. And we're gonna pick out some seeds. I just love pomegranate. It's a super fruit. So I just cut the top off and then I just picked away at one side and I'm going to peel. And I'm able to peel around those seeds and just pick them off. You have to be gentle with pomegranates. They do stain your clothes, so be careful with that. And if you just peel away enough, you're going to get a whole section that you can just remove all the seeds easily. So I'll probably use, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a pomegranate in its entirety and just scatter them on the top. I like them whole, I don't want to squish them. Our salad is accompanying a gorgeous entree tonight. We're having Napa Valley braised um, Merlot barbecue cross rib steaks and they're just in the oven, they're nearly done. And I'm also serving it alongside some rice. So if you just pry open this top part of the pomegranate, it's kind of like a key and it opens up a whole bunch of chambers of these. And so now I can just pick them off, they'll just fall off easily right out of this little pod here, okay? And scatter as many or as little as you like. They are beautiful on the salad and they're gonna be really healthy and nutritious, as well as visually beautiful. Okay, so here is this beautiful salad. You put as many pomegranate seeds as you like. I have a ton of them on there. I use probably a third or of my pomegranate. I just love them. And they're so, uh, such a nice surprise in a salad. Most people wouldn't think of putting it in salad. So I'm gonna use that with my gorgeous uh, pomegranate white balsamic vinaigrette tonight. Can't wait to try this. That's the only thing left to do. So let's serve up some salad. Make sure you get a little bit of everything, a little bit of the cheddar, a little bit of the apple, some pomegranate. Ooh, gorgeous. A piece of cheddar right there. All right. A little bit of that dressing. That looks awesome. Now, I wouldn't be upset with that for a lovely side salad. It's colorful, it's exciting, it's going to be super tasty. Can't wait. Make sure I try a little bit of everything. Mm. What can I say? This is an absolutely delicious salad. Mm. You get that nice sweet pop of the pomegranate arrows with the seeds inside, they're a little bit crunchy. The apple is nice, it's nice and sweet. The cheddar mixes perfectly with it. The lettuce is nice and crisp. A little bit of nasturtium hits a little bit of a peppery note really really tasty the dressing sweet delicious savory just right my goodness mm. Mm. that is delicious mm. the dressing coats everything beautifully you can taste that beautiful pomegranate and then you get the double hit of the little pomegranate arrows in the salad as well outrageously good. So nice. Boy, that's good. Cheddar's fantastic in there. This is a lovely seasonal salad. It's got nice har freshly harvested nasturtium, which is peppery. You've got the crisp lettuce, those lovely in-season pomegranates, and nice, fresh, beautiful Ontario apples. This is a lovely salad. You could beef this up uh, with some beef or with turkey or chicken, and it would be a lovely main salad as well. Really a uh, nice surprise with the pomegranates in there. You really have to try this uh, beautiful vinaigrette as well. Lovely. That's a Napa Valley pomegranate white balsamic vinaigrette. So easy. You did it at home. It's nice and healthy and it's seasonal. Okay? So make sure you get out to Harvest Barn. There's two locations in Southern Ontario. One is in St. Catharines and one is in Niagara-on-the-Lake. And you can also check them out online at harvestbarn.ca for more information about them. When you come to our area, come visit the barn. They have some really nice stuff there. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you make a green salad with pomegranate and apple. Lovely. 
Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, alright? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.